Good morning, video games. Welcome to Filthy Casuals, a podcast about video games hosted by three very kind and extremely knowledgeable boys. Thank you very much for joining us. My name is Tommy Daslow and joining me, as per usual... It's Ben Vanell here and rounding out the trio, as always... Adam Knox here and beginning the trio, as always... It's me, Tommy Dasolo. Thank you for listening. And once again, uh, here by my side, my constant companion. <laughs> it's Ben Vanell. And thankfully, rounding out the trio, a man who always has something interesting to add to the conversation. <laughs> it's... Because it goes on and on, yeah. my friends. Yeah. So people started singing and I remember there's, that. There's, there's got to be stressful. people... Listening. No one wanted to be the one who broke the chain. No. no. Well, it's a song that never ends. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there must be people listening to this who did not see Lamb Chop. Was that what the show was called? Uh, the Puppet. The is puppet that what that song that never ends is from? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, the I Puppet was called yeah, Lamb yeah. Chop. Yeah. I don't know if the show, maybe, maybe the show was just called like <clears throat> The Wonderful World of Lamb Chop or, or some shit. Was it like that. Lamb Chop and Friends or something? Yeah. Maybe. Something. Lamb Chop was the main one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. it was the sooty show. I think. That, Remember Sooty? Yeah, that oh, was Sooty. the British one. I was yeah. watching Sooty, not Sooty Lamb and Chop. Sweep. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, I watched both of them. Whoa, holy yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm Big a real puppet fan. I'm a real uh, citizen of the world. <laughs> <laughs> Put a hand up if you love puppets. <laughs> I love puppets. Yeah. Hey. Oh, he's got a real on him. He felt it. head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm a big Muppets fan too. Are they puppets or are they Muppets? Are they separate? They're the transitional period from puppet to Muppet to man. Yeah. yeah. And then, yeah. Yeah. then you love started that. watching things with people in them and you were like, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Had a long discussion the other night with my fiance about uh, what Muppet our dog would like most. Not, number, number not one. about kids or... No, uh, no. <laughs> long chat about the it's Muppets. It's tax time right now. <laughs> but. <laughs> which Muppet would he enjoy just like seeing in the flesh most? Yeah. And then which one would he like as a, an inanimate object that he can rip up? Oh. Interesting. And, I, w- and let me, I will say, I know this is kind of cheating, mm. but the Sesame Street characters did. That okay. They the were Muppets. under the umbrella of Muppet. Okay. Even though I don't think they're technically Muppets. Scared by Big Bird, wouldn't be able to see snow. Snuffleupagus, mm-hmm. Elmo, too annoying even for a dog, high pitched. Yeah, uh, probably. <sighs> I reckon Cookie Monster to rip up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. My thought was he'd love interacting with Big Bird. Right. Really? Okay. Yeah, I think he'd like Big Bird. I think he'd be scared initially, but he'd come around. Mm. And then uh, ripping up Gonzo. He's got that big nose that he can just oh, kind yeah. of grab onto and get a. Give You'd it imagine a good it'd fucking squeak shake. too. And if he yeah. was getting ripped <laughs> up, he'd be like, Gonzo. Wah! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's you know the Muppets have run out of ideas when their big plot point in the next movie is does Gonzo's nose squeak? We've never gone into it in all these years. We've never found out. It's so tempting to give a big honk <laughs> yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. It should. I'm trying to think of which Ruppet, Muppet would be Ruppet. most likely to be racist. Uh, because then they they Oscar would, the Grouch Oscar, yeah. Oscar the Grouch Surely. Yeah, what do you think he's he doing would in be, that camp? He would be dog whistling is why I was trying to get yep. there, you see. Yep. Oh, you yep. go into that trash can and there's just heinous shit all over the walls of it. Yeah. Surely. Yeah. yeah it's That's like, why he doesn't let anybody else in. Yeah. Not that anyone probably tries to get in. No they one wants to get into him. the bin. Yeah. He pops up one day, he's wearing a MAGA hat. I reckon yeah, he's flat earth, he's like yeah, all yeah. of that shit. Yeah. <laughs> he's living in a little bunker. Yeah. Oh That's yeah. true. He's a prepper. He's exactly. a prepper. Yeah, he's a prepper. He's got He's you know, a prepper. Don't touch my banana peels. Yeah, I'm mm. sure that like the inside of that can is insulated in some way to yeah. protect him from like when the nukes go off. Oh yeah. <laughs> well it's alumin he's literally lives in aluminium foil. Yes, oh, yes. Damn. <laughs> exactly. So, <laughs> great damn. video game. What? Uh, talking Sesame about Street. Sesame Street. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, video games. Yeah. That's why you bring them up. Trying yep. to get us on track. That's Choo-choo, right. Train Are there style. Sesame Street games? I know there's, there's be, there'd be, be like there educational, but is mm. there like a Sesame Street, you know, like platformer where you're like Big Bird running around? I think and some of those, and they were definitely mm. like on the N64. I remember there being ones that were like counting with Elmo. And oh, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. yeah. Hated them all. Yeah. Uh, well, probably babies didn't, but yeah. maybe they did. You know what? Uh, platform babies wouldn't be able to access as easily anymore to play their Sesame Street games. Hmm. Is wow, what a question. <laughs> Xbox Game Pass. <laughs> yeah. That's, there's been some changes. This is fresh news. This is of, breaking news. Yeah. Fresh from <laughs> Booty's <laughs> mouth. A time of print, which we run the newspaper weirdly where we print it like a day and a half before yeah. it Goes to the news agent. Well, we really want to be able to look over it and make sure there's no typos. Well, we, re- <laughs> yeah. we record this audio and then we transcribe it and print it out and yeah. put it into shops. So some people, I think there's like a couple of people 
that weirdly listen to the audio of this. Yeah. But most of our yeah. audience comes from the print, the physical yeah. copy that comes There's out. There's also, of course, you forget that we do the audio mm. and then we, we do the print stuff. And then just before we put everything live, we go in and we do sort of a, like a lip sync <laughs> video of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where we're like, it's like ADR, but in reverse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it like, takes ages, yeah, but yeah. it's RDA. worth it. I guess. Okay. That's ADR in reverse. You can't yeah. argue with me about that. Mm-hmm. I would never I know would. my letters because I played Sesame Street <laughs> Almo County <laughs> collection. Um, but yeah, there's obviously a lot of work goes into this podcast and a lot of work has gone into just jacking up the price mm. of Xbox uh, every, Game Pass. Everything's a subscription now and every mm-hmm. subscription can do what it wants with the price, evidently. Every, all, all of them, other than uh, patreon.com slash filthy casuals pod, which is yeah. staying the same and we're uh, putting more things on there at the moment for you. It's, yeah. it's, this is what's insane is like we're living in this moment where all you, you know, you just see so much stuff about cost of living crisis, mm-hmm. people are, you know, people are not, not going to as many things and all that kind of stuff and then at the same time you're getting emails like, guess what the price of amazon prime video is mm. going up and it's like sure if you've got your costs and whatever but like that's a hard call to make you know you know that people have less money yeah and still hitting that switch where and like for us like for any like comedians and people who do like podcasts and stuff you just at this point in time you just would not dream of like no. rocking the boat by going no. sorry guys the subscriptions are going up by five bucks you just yeah. wouldn't it's no the like opposite it just feels I like, yeah i want to make it seem i want to make it more valuable yes because like I, it times are tough and we appreciate it very much and like times are tough for us too so you're like helping us yeah so, absolutely so much. Yeah. yeah we uh, haven't jacked up the price ever um, when did we start the Patreon? Maybe 2017 or something? Yeah. Something like that. We've hit, been hit by a lot of inflation, but we have, uh, unlike the Reserve <laughs> Bank, we have refused to jack and, and anything I mean, up. This is the thing. It's like you just don't feel like you have the right when you're in our yeah. position. Yeah. Where, uh, and, and, you know, we put out a good product every week. And Absolutely. we put out, like, lots of good extra stuff for people. I think the newspaper could use a little bit of work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But if you're, like, if you're a service like Amazon Prime being like, yeah, we put out that dog shit Lord of the Rings series that no one liked. <laughs> yeah. Time yeah. to up the... Sub- you know, you, you get these yeah. emails and it just reminds you like, oh, this service sucks and I don't use it. There's nothing good on here. The, yeah. the, the, well, good news about Game Pass. Well, the, yeah, the it's easy- getting worse. <laughs> <laughs> the easiest thing to, to try and... I mean, people... In, in, in times of economic hardship, mm-hmm. entertainment and groceries tend mm. to be the things that people still want to get yes. because mm. they're, I mean, entertainment is a pretty key human need. Yes. And uh, that's that's where they gouge you. Yeah. But Again, but not at <laughs> patreon.com slash filter casual yeah. pod. If you're going to drop, drop off Prime Video, drop off Game Pass. Uh, so I unsubscribed to Game Pass months mm. ago. Mm. I did it before it was cool. Um, Which makes him cool, you see. <laughs> <laughs> if he was doing it when people didn't think it was cool. <laughs> that's right. That's right. I'm a tastemaker. Uh, I, I, uh, and I didn't know that this was going to happen so the the thing that they've done is they're phasing out game pass for consoles you can't sign up to it as a new subscriber what does that mean uh I, that, like, that confuses me it's getting replaced with xbox game pass standard which i believe is applicable to pc oh oh i see so game pass for console was a plan transitioning was to game pass standard. Standard. yes because yes. game pass pc is a separate thing and yes. then there's game pass ultimate which is both that is 100 percent correct I, I see that. jesus christ uh <laughs> game pass what's game pass core so it I, that i think is the new thing or it has that no. always existed oh i think that's a regional specific thing they replaced <coughs> xbox live gold with maybe that is game pass core where if you're just paying for the multiplayer and maybe some games. I think it this is, is again. Remember, mm. this happened with the wasn't there a thing with the there was like a PS Plus kind of yeah, version yeah, yeah. of this where yeah. it was like the is. the tiers and the like the naming of them was just like so confused again. Yeah. Just and different fucking regionally. Make it easy. <laughs> like mm. you're already battling with people's like indifference and tightening belts. It's like. Just go, this is what it... Hey, there's two. There, yeah. It's this or it's like this for a little bit more. I get... Yeah, being multi-platform, I suppose, and having their multiplayer service tied into what is now Game Pass. I my, I think... I could be wrong. Uh, it's happened before, believe mm-hmm. it or not. I'll mm-hmm. never admit <laughs> when. Um, I think Xbox Live Gold is what Game Pass Core replaced. Well, Game Pass Core is the cheaper thing. Yeah. Um, so that allows you to have multiplayer right. stuff. Game Pass... 
Ultimate is the more expensive one. And that's everything. That's everything. And then Game Pass for console is gone and Standard is a new thing. <clears throat> Which is just replacing Game Pass for console, I guess. Yeah. But, but now you won't get the day one releases. That's right. Having and one called Core and one called Standard. It, yeah. Again. Yeah. <laughs> like... Um, but so we, we were talking about this before we went to air because this just broke. Um, I, I found this is all I found on the um, language around when those day one releases would go to standard. Oh, yeah. And it says some games available with Game Pass Ultimate on day one will not be immediately available with Xbox Game Pass Standard and may be added to the library at a future date. So I that's see. really concrete information. See, yeah. for me, I've been Fucking like, hell. I keep so I keep forgetting to do it, but I've been saying for a while, I've got to cancel this subscription because, again, there just hasn't been enough on it lately. Yeah. And the things that are on it that are coming up, I would rather just spend the money to own it on Steam and be able mm. to play it on the Steam Deck offline. Like, yes. it's just become less and less attractive to me. Like, the fact that it doesn't work on the deck and you have to be online to play the games, it, it like, it doesn't, it just doesn't really... You know, I could I could weather the cost of it for months where there was not really enough on it to play and mm. be like, oh, it's just worth having there. A few indies, but it just that doesn't kind of about. fit into the ecosystem of how I play stuff at the moment. Yeah, and sure. yeah, I've had Ultimate for a while and like stacked it for a few years when it was oh, yeah. like on a deal. So that they've also changed the that stacking thing where right. it's a maximum of thirteen months. Oh wow! So it used to be three years. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, because so uh, everything. Would... Oh, also, yeah, we didn't say the price has gone up across the board by like a couple of bucks. Mm-hmm. The price changes were not the price going down. Just for anyone who was wondering, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's all gone up, uh, yep. including PC Game Pass, which is kind of the best one uh, in terms of value. I think because you get every, you get all the day one stuff. Mm. You can play it on a PC. You can mod a Steam Deck and play it on. So there. PC yep. Game Pass is still getting the day one. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, Ultimate is still getting all the day one releases. And these day one ones are Microsoft's first party stuff. Yeah, yeah, which are few and far between, honestly. Like it's... Flight Simulator, it's you, Halo, it was... You get stuff like uh, Persona 3 Reload oh, yeah. was day one. You get the odd thing that's not Microsoft right. on there. There's a couple coming up. There's that um, the thing that we played the demo Kinitsu of last Gun. week. Oh, sure. It's going to be day one. I think Dungeons of Hinterberg mm. is going to be on there. You get some stuff. One. There's, yeah, every I, now and then there'll be like... A, there'll be like a few that's like a little reminder, but that like this little stretch of stuff coming out for me is the first time in like months where it's felt yeah. like there's well, and day there one stuff that I'm interested Starfield in. Starfield last year and mm-hmm. I continue to find Game Pass good mm. and I have engaged with it plenty mm-hmm. and like that there, there are there are things like Lords of the Fallen got added on there and I want to play that because Elden Ring's gotten me back into that mm-hmm. slash em up mode and I, I like I still think that for most people if you want to play games regularly you don't necessarily care about which and <laughs> okay and okay. But like as in you're like you're not that like that fussed about some of the like mm-hmm. you don't have a ps5 so you don't care about sony one sure PS5. like your your you buy the odd one here and there priority would be like well is this like a reasonable thing to pay for to just be able to play you know, one of a uh, hundred to two hundred games. Well, I, I on a you, if you're on a budget, it's mm. like you can't just be looking at Steam or whatever willy nilly and just buying whatever. If you go like, this is my gaming budget. Yeah. This is like what I spend on games every month is just my Game Pass subscription. Mm-hmm. And I'll and be able to get... be sure of what that budget is because <laughs> it won't change. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but if you're locking yourself into that and you're like yeah. strict about it. Yeah. And then and for that, yeah, you do get some good day one stuff and you get, yeah, you get some stuff that comes down the pipe a little bit later that you haven't gotten around to because you're limiting yourself. I yeah. think it kind of makes sense. For, like, but... for kids and for younger people, it's a cool thing to have a Series S sitting in the den, mm. in the rumpus room. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let those kids rumpus with whatever games go up i don't if you're a parent too and you're like yes, you're, you're like exactly, getting this for your kid it's yeah. like hey i'm not going to buy you every this second game that comes out more this than is you your thing get. yeah the, I, I the one thing that i think about that uh and i don't know this for a fact this is anecdotal i don't think kids are really into consoles anymore like kids mm. mostly play games on pc or mobile and the they're mm. mostly like free to play on pc and they don't have to be a high-end pc it's like you know you've got a school laptop you can play well all of these games and the stuff they're playing on a console is stuff like fortnite and whatever yeah. that is available yeah. on a pc too you know I what's cool is one. yeah a couple but of i don't fr- want my kid having a pc in their room <laughs> well <laughs> yeah yeah a couple of my friends who have young kids have been telling me that their kids are like just at the age where they're like taking them through 
the first Mario games and then mm. they've got a Switch and they're showing them like Odyssey and stuff like that and, and then like, yeah, got the Switch Online subscription to kind of like a, a friend of mine has been kind of, yeah, really taking his kids through like chronologically from mm. the NES through and then sort of being like, and then, you know, when I was this age the, and it's, God, and they're the like, dream. <laughs> they're so into it, mm. but you just know the day is coming where they're at school and they're like, yeah. Hey dad, this is gay. I yeah. want an iPad to play Fortnite on. You know <laughs> totally. what I mean? Like you totally. just that leap from these where like kids they sound leave like just they're from the nineties. <laughs> I don't know how old these kids are. <laughs> that leap where they just leave like your sphere of influence of you being able to just like slowly dole yeah. this stuff out to then just the like rapid leap forward to going like oh, yeah. no no this is how I this is what I want to play yeah and I remember making that leap and all of a sudden it was just like eh, whatever everyone at school says is cool is cool and that's yeah, just yeah. what I'm going to do yeah. yeah so after you wash your mouth out son <laughs> <laughs> make sure that you uh, uh, learn about the old games still because I was just going to say as well that like for us Game Pass is a weird spot where we engage with games in a particular way because of this yeah <laughs> yeah you know so like a lot of those newer things we want to be at the front line for and, and just I do try think of it as right <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> we're in the trenches <laughs> but uh it like I, the i'll be interested to see how that i think a lot of people would be fine to wait 6 12 months for whatever that game that wasn't going on to standard yeah might be to to to, to pop up there possibly i yeah. don't know cuz also I feel like, like they're so we're so like still kind of in the dark about how game pass kind of goes for them yeah, because it. Well, I feel like it kind of. <laughs> there's always like these different kind of conflicting reports coming. You know, it, it yeah. feels like it's such a. It's still in the industry is such like a new sort of concept that there's no like baseline of like this is what you should expect from this service. Yeah, I in, think in, from from their end in terms of the return. Maybe so because well, we, there was a thing this week about a uh, Hellblade two. The, the actual sales of Hellblade yes. 2, which was one of the recent first party yeah. sort of, um, or like internal studio, I suppose. Day one games. release. Yep. Day one release. And then Hellblade 2 was 37th overall for the month of May in yeah. terms of sales. Yep. And it was available on Steam and stuff as well. I think, or maybe the Epic Store. Is that, was there something weird with that? I don't really remember. Yeah. I think I bought it on Steam. I can't remember. I can't but, remember uh, I played it. Maybe I bought it through the Microsoft Store. It, but it was, yeah. it was also 21st on. Xbox Series S and X in terms of uh, actual sales, digital, uh, yeah, digital or physical sales. Okay, in terms of just the Xbox ecosystem. So like, so I, I wonder yeah. where it was in terms of playtime on Game Pass as well. Like maybe it was oh, quite low I can there tell too. You. I think well, it had quite a low interest. Uh, in fact, yes, I can tell you in terms of Game Pass specifically. Then please do. Um, I'd rather. <laughs> not. <laughs> it ranked twelfth on Xbox in right. terms of monthly active users. So it was behind. Like Fallout seventy six, uh, but it was ahead of Star Wars Jedi Survivor, right? Um, which is a single player game and but five years old. You know, Apex oh, Legends wait. three, two, whatever. yeah. I'm but um, the other one, it's yeah, it's not good. So I, yeah, that's so not that's a weird game to use as an example because it didn't light the world on fire anyway. But it yeah. also well, it, it but it also kind of is the perfect example because it was their big, you know, their big yeah. kind of first party quote unquote thing for. Quite some mm. months. Like After it was Starfield, the thing, it was the thing that they would lead presentations with and stuff. Yeah, was, yeah. They yeah. were really, th yeah, they really, it was one of their first like big announcements of this generation. So yeah. you would think that it should be the thing that you're banking on people uh, getting a Game Pass subscription to play it. Yes. But then as we said in the lead up to it, they they sort of did nothing to market it. Yeah. It kind of just crept, yeah. it just sort of snuck I out I think there. that was a weird one anyway. So... Who knows? What's their? What's their? Do they have a big one for the rest of this year? Microsoft. Oh, Doom. I think is coming out Doom, this year. Oh, Indiana, Indiana Jones. Jones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Indiana Jones. You think will do some do some business? You'd think so, isn't it? Yeah. Doom game. You'd imagine so. Yeah, so yeah. It continues to be uh, like a lot of streaming things. Something that people are really conflicted about. Like it just in general subscriptions. I think are not yeah. what people are after for a lot of different products. I and wonder if just, they'll get it, to a point where they go. Cause, oh, yeah, because there was that weird thing with Starfield where you could – it was day one on Game Pass, but then you yeah. could get – if you bought it outright, you That's could happened a couple of times earlier. where if you bought oh, yeah. the, like, Ultimate yeah. Pack, which was only – which was, like, 60 Australian, which included the expansion that's coming out. Right. Uh, which I like think – That happened with Forza as well and yeah. stuff like that. You get them three days. So that's, days. like, $160 all up. Uh, but it includes – If you were to buy it 
on its own. Yeah. That's the like big ultimate edition whatever yeah. thing. Yeah. But so you just are you're skipping the price of the game. Which I think ultimately if you right. if you want to get people more uh invested in something like Game Pass not not so much have all the expansion stuff, but you've kind of got to go the other way with it maybe where it's like Game Pass, you get it those few days earlier than right. buying it on the store. Right, maybe. Yeah. You know, and that's like incentivize it a little bit more other than just like, yeah, this show's up there. Like, And ultimately yeah. none of it really makes a difference if you don't have the games that people are interested in, which they yes. didn't with Hellblade 2, they didn't with Redfall, they didn't yeah. with a bunch of stuff. Starfield was less than they thought. So yep. yeah. we've talked about this before too, where like Microsoft's thing is they, they need the games. Yeah. Tell you a place where you can get games okay. very frequently. Hmm. EB games? JB uh, Hi-Fi? Uh, both true, but not what I was thinking of. Well, mm. thank you. It wasn't our number one answer. <laughs> Show me. Oh, okay. Rio Gagatoku Studios. Oh, oh yeah. Ding, ding. Everyone cheers. Steve yeah. Harvey walks towards the camera and looks <laughs> stunned <laughs> to have heard someone say a, a, a sexually suggestive answer to a sexually suggestive question. Oh, God. I'd love to see Ichi Ban and his boys oh. on Family Feud. Oh, great, yeah. great side quest for that. <laughs> yeah. He goes on a side quest where he goes on Family Feud. <laughs> Hell yeah! Such a good idea. Steve Harvey over in Osaka, yeah. just doing he a remote. He could be in Hawaii. Like, he yeah. could be in Hawaii. Hawaii. They could add him oh, in. That makes true. more sense. <laughs> Who's this homeless guy? <laughs> uh, they they they're working on something else as they always are. And, yeah. Uh, apparently, they're working on something a bit different. It sounds like. They yeah. Said, You'll be surprised. They said. I think after that, also they whispered like. We do mean still a Like a Dragon game. Oh, oh really? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I think it was something about the genre. They, yeah, like yeah. They mentioned before, like, we can't tell you what sort of game it is. Yeah. Well, the funny thing is, surprised. Like a Dragon already has, like, 15 different genres of game contained within it. Yeah. Like, it's changed genres. Mm. And then it's got, like, kart racing and, yeah. like, darts. and In the games. And then they did Dead Souls, I think it was called at one point, and Yakuza Dead Souls, which hey, is yeah. like a zombie Game, sort of like that Red Dead expansion, Undead Nightmare, one. Undead Nightmare, yeah, or uh, Nightmares. The the they so they've done spin off stuff of that, and like Judgment was very similar. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. But then it was yeah, it was like you know you weren't a criminal anymore. You were a cop or I, you were a judge. If they took yeah. a like a, one of the weird sort of side things from any one of these games and fleshed it out, like if yeah. they like the kart racing in uh, yeah, because it's seven was yeah. Or like really good for being just a little side thing. The I mean, cart. obviously, like the Animal Crossing style thing in oh, yeah. in uh, oh, it's right. well, <laughs> which that. already was that. like such a uh, robust version of it. Yeah, it's like, hey, if that's the game now, now that this it feels like it's gotten this like whole new audience, just yeah. like some repurposed thing with all these with all these fellas in it yeah. would be yeah so like a full kart racing thing where you're driving around kart racers Hawaii often, and Osaka it, it, back like, in like the PS2 or 3 days that was yes. a thing where like they do it with Jack and Daxter or Ratchet and Clank or yeah. whatever I mean uh, well just maybe just Jack and Daxter pl- what do they call it platform fighting game oh yeah you Smash know, Brothers a Smash Brothers a multiverses fuck that's probably the most likely now that I think about right? it right like yeah. it's you know it's a fighting game or it was a fighting game it was a beat em up yeah, yeah. Um, but also like I would trust these guys to come up with another completely left field mm. thing that something that hasn't been any of their games before maybe and probably it, it makes sense as well for them to do something a little refreshing for for what a what a uh constantly releasing series <laughs> yes. yes you know you know what would rule yes. you know how the whole conceit of why it changed to an rpg is that ichiban played a lot of dragon quest when he was in jail mm-hmm. um if they just did like a straight up like sprite art um, oh yeah, style like RPG with those characters and just Oof. make it, yeah. make it a real like throwback like early Final Fantasy Dragon Quest kind of vibe thing. Yeah, or take the uh, 3D turn based thing and just set it a thousand years ago or in a fantasy <laughs> world karaoke yeah, yeah. game. Oh. Bring back the SingStar microphone. It, this could be a spin-off. This could be a small game. This, you know, it doesn't. I would imagine mean. it's probably something of a smaller scale. Yeah, which would be sick. Yeah, a yeah. mobile thing. A little Ichiban Tamagotchi. Oh, that'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, With no microtransactions. No mi- well, I, I found out what the world record was the other day for the longest time a Tamagotchi was kept alive. Oh, yeah. What do you reckon? Have a guess. Um, um, seven years. Mm-hmm. Um, hmm. Okay. 16 years. Wow. No, 87 days. It was oh. something like 87. I might have... 87, 93, 83, around that window. Okay. Which... 
Really disappointed. <laughs> yeah. yeah few, so a few months. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like less than three. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah right. Because wow. I, I, I guess it just goes. If I'd have just gotten the world record today, I'd have started in like April. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I because my sucks. memory of it from being a kid was like you kept them alive for ages, but yeah. I guess relative to how long you've been alive at that point, it's, yeah. three months is you know it's the quite a while. The years start coming. <laughs> That's true. Uh, the years start coming and they don't fucking stop coming to the point where the stuff mm. that you start thinking about if someone announces they're making an unannounced remake. Mm. All of it seems a lot more recent in your memory than what would... But 2, 2K. Yeah. You heard of them? Yeah, they make mm-hmm. basketball. Do I need to have read 1K to understand 2K? Or 1... J. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it kind of yes. helps to know a bit about the past to appreciate oh, the present. I've yeah. read 1J. <laughs> <laughs> You've read oh, it. I see. You read it. Do it. not smoke is illegal. <laughs> oh shit! I'll put that down. It was. I made it out of a bit of newspaper, you an old filthy sound... casuals newspaper. Oh sure. So you I read m- it. You make it sound like the rolling papers have like bits of trivia on them. Oh, they should. That would be good. Just before you smoke it, being like, uh, did you know the longest in... time someone kept a Tamagotchi alive was <laughs> like eighty-seven days? Yeah, tally ho, rolling papers. There's an idea for you. Put a little fucking fact on each yeah, one. That's we what should... we should be working on. <laughs> <We should laughs> Tobacco each. marketing. Yeah, <laughs> we should start each episode of this pod with a little, just a little trivia. Oh, well, that's just a good for idea. To take out into their, you know, there's nothing better than turning up to a group setting and being like, you know what, I just found out. Mm. Much like you with that, t- you know, you. Pass yeah. it I, I, I love a bit of trivia. Yeah, All right. such as maybe when you throw t- to me. Sorry, Knox, to interrupt. When you throw to me from <laughs> now on, instead of just being like, what's how, what's a funny way to say my name? Yeah, I'll say a fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you've, you've you made your own bed. Yeah, does it Let's have see to be how about wines in it? Exactly. For? Does it have to be about games? Uh, I think it can be about I, anything. Well, or popular culture, know. maybe technology. I don't know. I guess it's your thing. You can All right. do what you want. I'll see. I'll see. It has I to feel. be a fun fact that you think would be of interest to the sort of person who listens to this. So certainly, okay. like video games, is going to be. To, you know, top line there. The largest every, anime breasts. <laughs> <laughs> every single week. Did you know that Super Mario Brothers 2 was actually a reskin of Doki Doki uh, Panic? Okay, well, I can't do that now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but so here's some trivia about 2K. The possible yes. things that they could be working on an unannounced remake of. Mm. Uh, the, 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 the clear, obvious first joke is like, what are they remaking? Uh, NBA 2K12 or mm-hmm. whatever. So mm-hmm. let's get it out of the way. Yep. Uh, I wasn't even thinking it, but all right. Well, it was I, clear and obvious. I, I'm not don't sure. Even it don't even own a TV. Doesn't really count as a joke, in my opinion, <laughs> either. More of a fun fact. Well, then it's your it's your territory. <laughs> uh, Bioshock. Yeah. Seemingly the front runner, I would believe. There sure. are two front runners here. Okay. Bioshock being one of them because the studio cloud something yeah. inside of two cloud that systems or something. They're working on the next Bioshock game. Yeah. Uh, uh, cloud Chamber? It's something oh, like that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, wait, hang on. This story is 2K have said they're working on a remake? So, there's two yes. things. 2K have already said in the past they're working on a new Bioshock game. Yes. A new okay. one with, you know, because obviously Ken Levine and, and what used to be Irrational and stuff have gone off. Yeah, Ghost made. Story games or something? They're, yeah. They're, they're making, making Judas. That's mm-hmm. right. Yep. Uh, Which is a Bioshock <laughs> game, it looks like. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, but they're, they're, they're making also a new Bioshock game. Bioshock because they they own the license still. Yep. Yeah. yeah and development on that is ramping up they said recently mm. they were like recruiting for animation people stuff like that I believe yep uh, but so Bioshock would make sense then if they had a remake thing coming out in, yeah. the, in between times we'll do a little to, refresher yeah. get people back in yep. yep and it's an old enough that's from 2007 the first mm. one mm-hmm. I think the first one is still the one that people remember most fondly yeah so it would make sense second option mm-hmm I think we'd have heard about by now if it was going to happen is Borderlands. Oh, sure. Because the oh, yeah. movie is coming out yes. sure. this year. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's soon, I think. Uh, yeah. Maybe. Well, it's sometime this year and there's not much of the year left. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you got about two ca- Tamagotchis worth of year <laughs> if you're really working at it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, to a world-class level. Yeah, yeah. We should all get Tamagotchis and okay. the listeners can take bets. On who's going to keep theirs alive the longest. All right, I'll see how cheap they are on Amazon. <laughs> That's an exciting competition. <laughs> that would yeah. be fun. We should actually do that for yeah. some yeah. yeah, do Tamagotchi Minute every week. We check in, we have to hold them up to each other and yeah. kind of see where we're at. Have have the tournament make a video out of it, something like that. Who yeah. knows? Yep. 
Uh, like like they're making a video out of the game Borderlands, and that movie does look like more of a video than a movie. <laughs> but the, yeah. uh, it's content. It's not cinema. <laughs> the, I saw. I didn't read it, but I saw the headline, and the headline just satisfied me enough that I didn't bother reading mm-hmm. it. Where it was like. Kate Blanchett explains why she's doing the new Borderlands movie. Yeah, which I agree with you. That's that she a real. Had to get out there and be yeah. like, "Well, I'm not an idiot. I just wanted to." <laughs> I know it is such a lazy approach to news, but sometimes you do see those where you're like, "No need to click this one." Yeah, I feel yeah. like I've got everything I need. Well, my, my imagination <laughs> is going to be more <laughs> exciting than whatever the facts yeah. are. Yeah. yeah, I had gambling debts. It'll yeah, be, so yeah, that's yeah. what I'm imagining. So, I'm not interested in that movie, and Kate Blanchett is barely interested in that movie. <laughs> I've, I've got everything I need to know from I this I get headline. why Kevin yep. Hart's there. I get why Jack Black oh, yeah. showed up for a day in a recording booth. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, His clip-clop or whatever, right? Uh, Clap-trap. That's it. <laughs> clip-clop you is watch a, your language. Clip-clop is that that. I video. mean, that's that's a joke in the movie for sure. Kevin Hart being like, what's this motherfucking little <laughs> clip-clop doing? <laughs> it's clap-trap. <laughs> <laughs> it's clippity-clappity-clap-trap. <laughs> uh, <laughs> God damn it. Uh, what are the other options? Well, so I'm just getting just the, um, the potential of a Borderlands one. I don't imagine how interested people would be because those games remain very similar to one another. Yeah, exactly. Mm. So Style-wise, it's not like you're going to you know, reinvent the wheel with those visuals. Like they were already very, you know. The, it, and they've continued with them yeah. for, for multiple more recent games. And like I don't imagine, I don't think that people have much of a like, God, the first one though, what a special right, time. Right, right. Uh, uh, so there's a few others. Yep. That are, these are the main 2K properties. Yep. Mafia. Yes. Oh, yeah. I They've already done remasters of they did. those. They so did. So I would be surprised if it were that. Mm-hmm. Civilization wouldn't make any sense <laughs> to me. No. Mm-hmm. The first, as with, like, you know, Borderlands, well, not really. The, it's like each successive Civilization game is a remaster of the previous one. Those are even more iterative in the yeah. way that a sports game and stuff. It would be as silly yeah. as the... Uh, the hilarious joke before <laughs> of them remaking 2K12, NBA 2K12. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Uh, XCOM for similar reasons I wouldn't expect Yeah Because they already kind of did a remake of it in 2011 yeah. or whatever that was yep. It's really sounding more and more likely that it's going to be 2K12 <laughs> Duke Nukem forever Like that's the sort of dregs we're getting to as I was looking through 2K's properties I'll tell you what game I think it is uh, and, well, the, the, Okay. And yes. you haven't named it yet Yeah Spec Ops The Line. It's up there. It's on the board. Yep. Show me Spec Ops The Line. <laughs> uh, yeah. As listeners will know if you've been to our uh, Instagram page recently, that board is a kilometre away and the writing is very small. <laughs> yeah. The writing is very small and yet also only takes up like half of the whiteboard. <laughs> oh, yeah. I better show this week's That's one. True. because uh, <laughs> I do have uh, uh, good eyesight too. When it's corrected, yeah, if I don't I, have lenses in, I've got poor eyesight. I'm not wearing my glasses, full disclosure. I, I, I had to get an eye test recently. Oh, yeah. And it's the best feeling. It's happened a few <clears> times and I've got an eye test. Did you successfully put the dot on top of the line? What is that one? Yeah, I've it's never an, had to do that. An eye test. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. The letter. <laughs> oh, NBA 2K 2012 actually isn't a joke. I freaked <laughs> out as I was saying that, being like, is that what that letter's called? <laughs> <laughs> Elmo, get back in here. We need more What's help. the name of that letter? <laughs> is the letter with the, the line and the dot an I? Cuppy I, yep. that's my name. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I. But yeah, I feel like that one... That's uh, like I think we ha- have not as positive um, memories of Spec Ops: The Line as most other people do. I did not but like it. Yeah, it is one that always comes up. People are like narrative in video games: Spec Ops: The Line, The Last of Us, and it's like yeah. it is a bit. Um, it's 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 a uh, like film school one hundred and one in the way right. it sort of tells its story. Because when's like, it from? Uh, Twenty twelve. Okay. Something like that. Same yeah. year as the basketball. I certainly. <laughs> Maybe they're merging. Oh, yes. I, 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 I wouldn't. Spec Ups the free throw the, line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Tommy. That's good. I'm just glad it got out there. <laughs> that is actually pretty good. It's not bad. <laughs> I don't mind It's that not at all. bad stuff when you think about it. <laughs> I'm I told- a, from a man who didn't know what the letter I was called moments ago. Yeah. Have I t- I've told you guys that a friend of mine is like the tour manager for the Harlem Globetrotters when they come to Australia. Whoa. And so she'll just be, she just won't post on Instagram forever. And then it'll just be her like, with it, just hanging out with these guys, like Ooh, doing yeah. all this shit. I'm like, Boy, what a mad job. Being, being <laughs> like the tour manager for the Harlem Globetrotters must be a difficult job. Like uh, you'd have to be spinning an awful lot of balls. Yeah, Ooh, not ladies as and gentlemen, <laughs> we can all do it. 
I did get worried halfway through and go, are they called balls? <laughs> <laughs> I reckon being the tour manager for the generals is probably worse. Oh, yeah. Mm. Lot of low morale on that tour bus yeah. every morning. <laughs> yeah. Are they a bad team? They they are the team that is always forced to lose to the Harlem Globetrotters. Uh, so they're not a real team. Oh. They exist to I be see. beaten. I see. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, much we were like saying the other day, imagine trying out for the generals and not getting it. Yeah. <laughs> You're not good enough to be in a team that gets their ass handed to them You've got in it. spectacular fashion. Yeah. It tends to be that you have to be really good at something to, to come across as like believably bad at it. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? Like in wrestling, it's like you've got to make that loss look real. The best the best ones are the ones who can, you know, take the big bumps. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. then they go into the ring full of energy. Okay. Hey. Uh, okay. I wouldn't be surprised that Spec Ops the line either. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't yeah. remember it as fondly as some people do, but, uh, you know, a remake would, would make sense. Yeah. I suppose. I think Bioshock makes more sense for what their future plans are. Yeah. They've yeah. got to bring it back a bit to be able to ramp up expect, or, uh, and then it could also compete with Judas. Yeah. They should call it Jesus. Ooh. See who wins this time. Because it's Bioshock, it's not, it, uh, it, there's not like a current gen there is. There, version there of it, the, but it's, there is. There, there is, is yeah. the, the collection they put out. Yeah, yeah. okay. Because that's um, I played it only a couple of years ago. Yeah. And I don't I don't remember it, it feeling like uh, you know, I'm having to give this a lot of concessions here yeah, yeah, yeah. for its age. Like it doesn't it doesn't feel like it really needs a re- I mean yeah, It was pretty honed and it's like fairly hmm. simple, I suppose, in some ways, you know? Like yeah. Yeah, it, it it yeah, I it would still I think get a lot of interest though. Yeah, that's chuck true. it in Unreal Five or whatever. Put all some yeah. fucking particle make effects and shit. Yeah, right. Well, yeah. water. Oh, reflections. I mean, if you're doing <sighs> your own like new version of it too, and you're maybe like I deviating. Said, I said wow, like I was imagining <laughs> the reflections, but I wasn't. Wow, <laughs> no, you, uh, can't, you famously can't imagine anything. Exactly. I I, I still can imagine. It's <laughs> the, I don't Just like not the, visually. The fame has really misrepresented me. I'm not the guy that you hear about. <laughs> I can think of things. Um, I know what were, the letter I is. Well, if, you're one step ahead of me, then, <laughs> brother. <laughs> I could get all the way up to W. Ooh. If they were stylistically going in a bit of their own direction with their new uh, oh, yeah. Bioshock that they're making, mm-hmm. then it would make a bit of sense if you if you wanted to like remake number one to kind of have a version of that that's like a little bit more in mm. line so that the difference isn't so stark when you yeah. put this thing out and people are already going to be looking at it with like maybe a bit of a critical eye because it's like, oh, well, the original guy's not involved. So yeah. maybe it does kind of benefit you to put out this, you know, like a – the original with a bit more of your spin on it right. to kind of get the set the scene for that. I mm-hmm. think so, especially if the the new one that they're making ties in with the first one, which you yeah. know right. does because yeah, I you know that's that's the one that people have the the memory for. Spec Ops also yeah wouldn't be surprising. It is old enough that mm-hmm. and I, I I don't think necessarily as playable on modern things. Yeah, as Spider- true. Shock is yeah. Mm. We will see one day. Yeah, I'm willing to bet. That's my big prediction. And yep. I'm famous for my predictions. That's it's one of the few things that... True. Uh, so, yeah, we'll see. Hey, speaking of remakes... Yeah? I've been playing one. Oh! Mm-hmm. Wow! A remake of... We <laughs> uh, <laughs> played a remake of Spec Ops The Line that I'm not meant to talk about yet. Uh, uh, I mean... Uh, <laughs> no, I've been playing... Uh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> I've been playing... You guys ever heard of Mist? Yeah. Yeah, I heard With of it. Y? Oh, I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> Brother, I played it. Yeah. Mist. There was a time (laughs) back in the day. Here's another bit of video game trivia that I'm going to spoil for you. Uh, There was a time when Mist was the highest selling, I think, video game, maybe specifically like computer game of all time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think think computer game maybe, yeah. 1993, it came out. It was a CD-ROM thing and had your sort of full motion video and uh, pre-rendered backgrounds. Mm -hmm. Very simple. Oh, well, not simple. It's a complicated, confusing game at points, but it's an easy to understand. Yeah. Dad plays this in the computer room type of uh, point and click adventure game. A few years later, they made a sequel called Riven, which mm. was subtitled The Sequel to Mist because they called the game Riven rather than Mist 2. Yeah. Uh, and that is the one that has just gotten a remake very recently. They should have called it Mist Me? <laughs> they should have called it Mist with two Y's. Missed. Oh yeah. Yeah. Maybe their name wasn't so stupid after all. Now you, now you miss me. <laughs> <laughs> now you moaned. <laughs> Look at all of us riffing about riven. Uh, the the game is 
the same as Mist. Yeah. In design. Wait, did you play Riven back in the day? Because this is a what a remaster, a re-release, this is a complete remake. Whoa. Well, yeah. So I don't know where these lines are not as defined as they used to be, but it is a full three D. You're walking around now. It is not static images, right? Uh, anymore, but it is the same game, but built in three D, Unreal Engine five. Mm-hmm. Uh, walking around these weird little islands mm-hmm. where there are funky little machines. That you got to try and figure out how to get going. Yep. Mm. Um, you pull in levers. You're thinking about why doors aren't open. Mm. You're interpreting symbols, mm-hmm. remembering pages that you've read from books that are scattered around, and so on. Yep. You know the type of game we're talking here. Yeah. Absolutely. I love looking at a door and going, "Why the fuck isn't this open? What can I possibly and a do lot about of the, that? I can't handle this." Yeah. Wait a minute. That gives me an idea. And then you kick the door in. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's. It's certainly a type of game that I generally enjoy. This yes. like first person walk around, have a think. I'm I'm hearing witness, uh, dude. W- w- you're right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sort of. It's 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 very different in some ways. To yeah, witness, it's not know. it's not the same kind of puzzles, right? It's it's very no. different. Yeah, and um, Mist was like sort of a, a an expansion on the. Very popular at the time, 2D sort of Monkey Island ish. Yeah. Point and click adventure games presented from a first person thing. I played Mist at the time ish, Mm. uh, maybe not 93 because I was four, but Mm. like was was still young enough when I was still young enough when I played it. (laughs) I. Uh, young enough when I played it to uh, not really be able to figure it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Played it a few years ago, don't remember when, and really enjoyed it. Mm. Really ended up liking Myst. Um, Went into Riven, but it was too similar too quickly at the time, so dipped out. This is the era of PC game where it's like massive, massive box. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I always loved that when you'd go into the shop and like all the consoles would have like, here's the, well, here's what the box for a SNES game it's this shape. Yeah. yeah. It's this layout. It's a VHS tilted on the side yeah. sort of thing. It's a NES game. PC, you'd go in absolutely no Whoa. rhyme or reason. Mm. Could be this fucking huge thing with a big cutout yeah. bit yeah. popping yeah. up the top. Could be a little like cover thing that little Velcro yes. tab thing Those that opens great. up and show. Could be a little mu- like that some was just for whatever like, reason. <laughs> just some no. Some of them were trapezoids or <laughs> whatever. Yeah. Like oh yeah, yeah. They yeah. would build them into into fun shapes. I loved that shit. It yeah, went away. It was awesome. Yeah. Sort of like maybe buy or in the early two thousands where yeah. they started being more like thick DVD. They are kind of yeah. Yes. But my my local video shop, you could rent PC games and you could just tell it drove them insane because there was no. They would have to like have them all scattered around on like different shelves because they'd yeah. be like full throttle would come out and it's like fucking lengthwise and it's it's like this guy on a bike and he's popping up. That's like, ah, oh, this doesn't Hell fit yeah. on the fucking shelf. Yeah. We got to bring in a second oh. new shelf to have <laughs> some of the PC games that don't Lemons fit in the one in area. A fridge box. Why have they done this? <laughs> so good. Yeah. The, the, bring the, it back. The one near me would have PC games too, but uh, they would just have the little because usually in the big box you'd have a little jewel case yeah that's the best CD bit case. is like yeah. yeah it's or if it was like a flo- like this huge box to just have like a tiny little disc in it yeah the smallest form of media in the well, most egregious box they used to have a lot of the big manuals it was a big yes. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. they'd have the big thick when pc games were like a, a flight simulator every second day mm. yeah uh, you get an awful lot of paperwork with them oh, one shit. of the biggest books i read as like a 10 year old was the civilization 2 manual <laughs> it yes. was genuinely like a fucking <laughs> <laughs> uh, St. James Bible It was so thick Literature I remember oh, yeah. saying to I was like such a fiend For a good instruction manual Like yeah. in terms of design And you know Rare would always have like Really funny man- Like they'd be written Like from the perspective Of like one of the characters In the game yeah. Right They'd be so creative with them And I remember my friend Making fun of me Because the South Park game Was coming out And I was like Man I can't wait For that instruction manual And he was yeah. like What the fuck Are you talking <laughs> about I'm like gonna It's going to be really there. funny It'll yeah. be like A little comic book Or yeah. something And then it yeah. came out And it was Because it was like A company had made the game That just did not give a fuck It was the most like Just black and white text Like uh. no artwork in it I was like This is the most 
crushing disappointment of my young life. <laughs> you this is had, such a missed opportunity. I agree. Like Kenny in the corner and as you flip through, he dies. Yeah. yeah. You know, Cartman on the notes page being like, screw you guys, I'm writing notes. 100%. And all of that. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's go back in time and change only that. Okay. Yeah. Limited uh, run games, get on it. Make a physical edition of South Park on the N64. <laughs> or do a remake like Riven is. So yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. you're looking at this really pretty uh, modern, beautiful graphics. Mm-hmm. Walking around doing these exact same puzzles as from Riven in 97, I think that came out. It's weirdly harder in some ways because you can, you're can you walking around in full 3D rather than being presented with sure. the sort of 2D set screens. Yep, which so, are like very deliberately designed to be like, hey, there's this, maybe there's something up in the corner that exactly. you might notice. What you're looking to interact with is pretty plainly there yep. in a way that... Uh, I'm getting more confused by in mm-hmm. this than I think than I remember from Mist at least where uh, you know you can you can quite easily miss that there was a path somewhere there's a little lever around the back of the thing that mm-hmm. it, so it's actually sort of annoying the way that I am finding myself checking the whole environment like I'm right. a fucking secret agent looking for exits type of thing you know oh, yeah. like it's a bit unpleasant in that way the remake doesn't quite suit the type of game in that particular way Mm. I'm not like the whole way through yet so and it's still happening though so I I don't know that 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 is one argument against this being sort of a good idea for a remake but was was the mist did you when you played mist more recently was that remastered in any way I played the original there has been a a a version that is I think very similar to this there was one called mist it's not unleashed, <laughs> but it's some word like that. Yeah. It's where you turn into a werewolf, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They do. They, they, it, it's a similar thing. Yeah, right. But just because it's so high fidelity too, it really does look good. It's quite easy for those brown levers and stuff to get lost against the rock face. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, so that's odd. And, and, and a, a problem that they haven't solved in this by like, having a mode even where you could have little sparkly bits yeah, with yeah, items yeah. you can interact with or something, which would kind of help me because I don't think there's any uh, puzzle benefit to not knowing which pieces can move. Yeah. I'm not yeah. finding that to be mm. like a, a f- f- fun surprise at any point of yeah. like, oh, this was here all along. It's frustrating more yep. than anything. Yeah. Right, right. Um, because the puzzles are also quite obscure. It's a lot of weird little uh, machines that you've got to figure out the exact process of making them. But yeah, you just don't have the same clarity Mm. of that original design. But aside from that, I do think it's still like a pretty, you know, it mysterious (laughs) (laughs) riveting game that um, I I, I enjoy the, the, the weird aesthetic of these islands and this place and yeah. this silly story of like, well, we've got these books that if you write them the right way, they can create a world and you're getting sucked into those. And oh. there's an evil guy in there though. So mm-hmm. you got to try and get him sucked out of one or whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, so it's okay. Yeah. There's the, the, the puzzle stuff that's in there. If this type of game appeals to you, that first game especially was a classic for a reason and I think this one is doing basically the same things mm. right. It's just a bit overwhelming maybe and confusing in a way that doesn't feel fun to solve all of the time. It can feel a little bit um, th- like it's testing your patience mm-hmm. sometimes. Right. Because also like running from A to B, I feel like is taking longer mm. than clicking through A, B, C, D, E and F to yeah. get there. And then H, and then oh, there's a G in there somewhere. I can't help you. Yeah. There's one that I can't remember the name <laughs> I of. I can, but I'm not going to. Oh, okay. I can't remember. Um, wait a minute. <laughs> and then he kicks the door in again. Uh, yeah, Would you prefer maybe playing the original version? I think I might. <laughs> yeah. Because the, it's sort of on, on Steam at the moment there. It's on sale for like an introductory discount. And then there's also a bundle with Riven and original Riven. Right. That is cheaper than buying just the new ribbon. Okay. So I've got it there. Yeah. And I have been tempted to go, you know what? Fuck this. It yep. looks nice, but Pivot. I might mm. go back to old fashioned ribbon because I'm, I'm, 
it yeah i don't know that it 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 doesn't quite i think they probably needed to do and maybe they have done and i'm and i'm not uh uh, and I'm still finding this frustrating despite right. them having done this work. I don't actually know, but I think they maybe needed to change up some of the design of it mm-hmm. to make it a little bit more digestible in a full 3D format. It right. makes sense that you would have to do that work, right? Yeah. Like yeah. surely if it's a puzzle game and it's it initially you were presented with like not a static, but well, like, yeah, like it's like a you were presented with a puzzle. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, now you don't have to look around the side or the back. It's in front of you. And there were some bits where maybe you did have to move to the other side, but if mm. you moved your mouse around the screen, the little hand would change to, you know, showing you that you can move somewhere. Yeah. And oh, you're not yeah. getting that same sort of instruction. The hand does show up if you center the screen over something you can interact with. But right. it, it isn't right. quite enough because you need to be like looking everywhere yeah. in the scene so also in this is a vr mode Ooh. built in you can get this on the meta quest i don't know if it's two and three it's definitely at least three mm-hmm. and it also works with like the steam version works with a vr headset and that's really cool okay this type of puzzle game suits yeah vr and it looks beautiful and i tried it out for a bit that's not the main way i've been playing it but i gave it a little wiggle mm. and it's uh very cool cool um I think they just maybe needed to chuck in, and if it's in there, and I have, I went looking, but mm. uh, some sort of interactable objects are in a, in some way highlighted. Yeah, something like that. I don't think would take anything away from your task of figuring out how these things interact, but would add to the tedious task of finding what things there even are to interact with. Right. That op- option actually is in there. You just haven't found it yet. Well, they should have highlighted it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't. I, I had a look through it. It doesn't appear yeah. that, that there's anything no, of, of that type in there. That's annoying. Um, but that's Riven. That's Riven. That's all she wrote. I've been playing a little bit of uh, Super Monkey Ball Banana Rumble, okay. which is a... New Super Monkey Ball. I think there was a there was one that came out maybe a year or so ago that mm. was like maybe a remaster or remake or something. There was this like yeah. Banana Blitz. Yeah, that might be it. Yeah, and and, and which makes more sense because splits. I don't know what Rumble's meant to. Yeah, mm. I don't know either. But it it, it hasn't factored in in any way. So oh, far. okay. Good. There's <laughs> been a few of those sorts of things too, where like this new Monkey Ball is actually half old Monkey Ball yeah. levels or something. Right? Well, that's yeah. it. Like. When we were talking last week about there was the news about uh, Sega giving a bit more clarity to what their new uh, crazy taxi that they're working on is gonna is gonna be like, yeah. And and you know Sega is such a company where could really could go either way. Yeah. Like great, oh cool, a new crazy taxi that sounds cool, but you just don't know if they're gonna botch it or not. And Super Monkey Ball is maybe the best example of that, where they've they've kind of kept making these games. They've sort of never really stopped making them mm. with incredibly varying results. Right. Like My understanding is that kind of the first two are the only ones that people are really fond of. This one, what got me interested was like people saying, this is like the best it's been since those first two. Okay. Like it's, it's kind of the cl- closest to getting that feeling back. And I played a little bit of one on the GameCube back in the day and have always thought it's like a, you know, cool, cool idea, cool series. What is the idea? Because I've never played okay, a so single one of them. You're in a little ball, and you're you're actually you're moving. You're trying to get to like a goal at the end. You're in the, you're in this like floating platform, so you can fall off the edge. And mm-hmm. you're not moving the ball. You're moving the you're tilting the environment. So you know, like okay. Marble Madness or like those physical kind of toys you get, where you put a ball bearing into a maze. Yes, and okay. You're tilting the sides. To yep. Guide the ball bearing through the maze. Mm-hmm. It's that basically. It's, yeah, okay. it's that. But you're you can fall off the edges, yep. and you've got like increasingly complex little kind of mazes to maneuver your way around. You're getting ranked on your time. You're getting ranked on the number of little bananas that you pick up mm-hmm. along the way. So you can just kind of cruise through and get to the end, especially in the early levels, like relatively easily. But then. Yeah, the challenge is like in going back through and being like, okay, I'm going to get every single banana here. Yeah. I'm going to get like the best possible time I can. And yeah, I remember liking the original one back in the day and and yeah, people being like, yeah, this is kind of it's 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 back. This is like it's they've gotten it back on track. And so far, I'm finding it kind of boring. I'm okay. up to world 3 and it is just it's so straightforward. Mm. Like it and I know that a game like this does tend to like ramp up as it goes on but i'm and down and sideways (laughs) everyone can have fun (laughs) it does like just hearing about it it's like it just sounds like oh they've released 
Tetris every year and like mm. how how much can you change or you know like a it's, it seems like such a specific like yes yeah, sim- simplistic in 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 you know first impressions format it's yeah. like how complicated could that be and it's part of the, yeah. the appeal <laughs> of it banana yeah yeah what uh, what are they <laughs> I, I have never eaten a piece of fruit in my life <laughs> the the part of the appeal of it is that like in that GameCube era when they were coming out as well it was like these would have been Dreamcast games, and it's of that same sort of design philosophy. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. These quite simple arcadey things right. that are fast and fun and colourful and weird. And like, yeah, it, it like you say, it escalates as you go through. And but the analog sticks are still like relatively new. So just sure. the idea of being yeah, able to like yeah. tilt a whole environment around. I remember yeah. that being novel. And so that's not really there in this. And it I I can't yeah, for 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 a series that's been around so long at this point, you do want it to feel a bit more and and, you know, the simplicity of it is part of the appeal and the charm, but you kind of want it to have escalated a bit where, like, you kind of think about a version of this where they've, you know, they've had consistently good ones in the in the interim. Mm. And now you can imagine a version of this where it's like these crazy Rube Goldberg machine yeah, yeah, kind yeah. of things and it, it like, certainly... It, are there any levels where it's like a platform on top of another platform on top of another platform? There's a bit of like, yeah, getting to the end of one and having to sort of control your speed so that you're not like crashing off the edge and like sort of stopping yourself and then like going back down mm. the other way, like underneath. So it's 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 ramping up like a little bit, but and and I mean I think there's like a hundred levels or something and I'm like twenty five in, so okay. Maybe it does start to get to that point. Mm. I remember of yeah. like, there was one they put out that was like a combo of one and two on like the PS2 mm. whatever years ago. And it like there'll be different obstacles that show up or like not enemies, but, you know, stuff you can bash into that will knock you off or mm-hmm. like uh, ones that have kind of you, there's there's like speed running stuff that people do of oh you can actually fling yourself all the way over oh here sure yeah that's it so. i mean i'm not a super like i'm not much of like a time attack kind of person yeah. so i think that kind of is a big part of the appeal like if you're just wanting to yeah hammer it and beat your best time then there and like presentation of it's great like you you're unlocking new little costumes for your monkey and uh, like all that kind of stuff Mm -hmm. so i think there's a type of this just to what you were saying before where you mm. can imagine like if they built it more as like a platformer with this weird control style Mm. where there was like a big world you could platform around in and do these different things and maybe there are little splintered off sections you go into like sonic or the mario games have been a bit or whatever like i think that's how it feels to me is like yeah they've kind of botched it enough times that they needed to do like a real course correction with this right. one which i do think from what i've seen online from people who really love this series is like that's what this is this is like right okay oh, they've, they've gotten it back on track this it's at is, least not a bad one yeah this yeah. is like feels like what i remember one and two feeling like which is what some people want mm-hmm. but you're right like if they had of if they didn't have to reset in that way it would totally be like yeah it's time to really reinvigorate it and, and like have a crack at doing something a bit more yeah, unique and, and complex, and complex and, yeah. that uses the modern. Because yeah, I mean, yeah. this game could run on a fucking GameCube. Like, yeah. it's not doing anything too too um, meaty. The mm. stuff they've experimented with over time, as well, to my understanding, again, I've not played most of them, is like co-op stuff and like a multiplayer competitive. Yeah, like you're knocking each other off of the course. And right. Things that I don't think people responded to positively too. yeah well, that was the big that that's like the big criticism that people have of this one is that the multiplayer is just not really there which is kind of what oh. made me get it because i was like well if the most negative thing about it is yeah the people don't like the multiplayer i'm not going to engage in that anyway um so yeah i don't know it, it's it's i'll play a little more of it because it's also it's like an easy thing to just kind of chuck on and it's very like so far kind of just a zen thing to sort yeah. of put on and zone out to but i'm just kind of waiting for it to get like I don't know, just a bit more fun. At the yeah. moment, I'm literally just like tilting forward and getting to the end and <laughs> not really having... Yeah, you've got this right. new move. Like the one new thing is like you've got this kind of spin dash move where you hold down B and then it gives you like a real, uh, like a supercharge thing, which mm-hmm. I'm kind of yet to have any points where, like I keep forgetting it's there. There's yeah. no points that you like need to use it for. Mm. So yeah, it's it's fine. It's just I was like excited to 
I was kind of remembering yeah. my time with the GameCube one really fondly and being like, oh, this will be great. And then I'm a bit like, oh, I guess maybe I... Just feels outdated maybe, now. Yeah, mm. maybe I don't like Monkey Ball as much as I thought I did. Right. You think well, you would with a name like Super Monkey Ball. Yeah. Yes. I can see why yeah. you just keep going like, surely these are good, <laughs> Yeah. Right? And like, I love the whole like aesthetic of it right, and okay. the whole vibe of it just being the, this... It's got this story to it as well, which I, I kind of... I love even though it's like you, you don't need us. St- it's like oh, yeah. this guy's come and we've lost this thing. And then anyway, for now, for no reason, we're just rolling around <laughs> on these big platforms that are up in the sky. Yeah, like the cool sort of the the backgrounds would be these you know weird looking things in the in the in the GameCube ones at least because you're so isolated in this three D mm. hovering yeah, platform each, thing. Mm. They would all be these like moving moving images and whatever. each world's got its own little theme and the right. music's very like you say of that real Dreamcast era mm. sort of. Ele- electronic music kind I mean, of thing. Something like ju- uh, uh, just an example that comes to mind because of the how I felt it was like a forgotten Dreamcast game was like Neon White, yeah, which mm. is like yeah. uh, speed platforming. You know, do the like. There's a type of monkey ball that is maybe doing something along those lines. You know no, what I you, mean? Yeah, absolutely. I was thinking Neon White too because it's like. I'd it love a neon it white is suit. that thing mm. of like the sequel to Neon White is the subtitle. <laughs> <laughs> the sequel to Miss Three. <laughs> it is that like it's it's totally that like um, it, yeah Neon White does feel like a it it took a thing from back then and right. iterated on it and like and re- and mixed in this very contemporary like modern way of approaching games. Yeah, and, yeah, and the and the game that we're talking about is yeah probably not something that is going to be made by Sega. It's more likely to be mm. like a. An indie yes. developer comes along and is like really inspired by this, yeah, by the yeah. original Super Monkey Ball, and has kind of thought like, yeah, what if it really, really did progress instead of Sega just I bet putting out basically the same thing with mixed results? I don't right. know what it is, but I bet there's something like that out there as well. Yeah, 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 totally. yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, hey, you can't always go home again. Mm. No. Let past. us know. Let us know if you've if you've played of or heard about in development a uh, if there is like yeah, a, yeah, a more something. kind of like. Cool, like a monkey like, <laughs> <laughs> yes. super monkey like. Yeah, Marble Madness was the similar thing, I think, to, mm, to right. Monkey Ball from from before it as well. That I think there's been games that are madness likes, well, spe- ish Speaking of hugely influential games, uh, mm-hmm. I have continued to play Shadow of the Erd Tree. Uh, Nox, mm-hmm. how much of that DLC have you played? I, I think. Not completely, but about 100% of the major stuff. Yep. I don't think I found every... Get this. Mm. You know the type of tree that's in there that's not the Erd tree? You know that you're pricking up the fragments of? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what's that called? It's called a shadow tree. How fucked is that? <laughs> it's, yeah. pronoun- it's written down S-C-A-D-U tree. So I was reading Skadu tree the whole <laughs> yeah. time. Skibbity oh. tree. <laughs> and, yeah, okay. But it's like Shadu tree. Yeah. It's meant to be like that. Yeah. yeah. yeah Which yeah. The, the, the twist of the century. Because I believe, you know, you know where um, Melania lives? Uh, well... <laughs> Uh, Say it not, out loud. Not at Trump's house. <laughs> <laughs> you know the you know the, the the tree that where Melania is. Yeah. Say that. How, what's that pronounced as? Well, it, that's the Erd tree. No, well, no, the, the oh. you know the region the region where you fight her. It's called. Oh oh oh. Um, God, what is that called up north? It starts with H. Oh right. So it's not Halig tree. <laughs> no, it's Holy tree. Harlig tree, mm. right? It's all like sort of, so it's I all guess Nordic pronunciation. It's old English. Whatever. Old it's English. Old, apparently, it's it like shadow was literally spelled skadu. Skadu. That is how that you always hear, like you know, if I, I love those things of like here's how accents evolved. Yeah, and yeah, like. Old English was like dice. Mm. Yeah, I have like one walking around. But then also it makes sense because like SC can be sh sh yeah. in, in a lot of. George no, R. Yes. Martin, you <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I also, I, yeah, I, I came across that in the past couple of weeks. Shadow tree fragments. It makes sense. It's called fucking... It makes so much more sense. And it's the shadow land. Yes. Mm. Yeah, so, yeah. And it's shadow of the Erd tree. I'm a dumb fuck. Well, no, everyone made that same mistake. Yeah. 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 And well, it's not all, a mistake. <laughs> we were fooled. The mm. the I, So I've gone through and done every boss that's in it, I believe. Like right. I did it all and then looked up sort of after I was done with the final boss and I felt like I'd explored everywhere. Right. All, all the bosses I'd sort of done, there's like, and, and all of the sort of major big points. I haven't found every weapon and all of that. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Ate the fucking thing up. Absolutely loved my time with it. Mm. Really felt satisfied that like, okay, cool. I've done this. I, do, I feel yeah. good. Yeah. Um, some, some 
more obscure ones to find in there that I was happy mm-hmm. to sort of come across quite naturally. Yeah, right. Um, I still had... There was a couple of map fragments. This is how, like, I... I had this with the, the main game as well. And right. it was the first game that I really got into from From and was initially like, I'm not looking anything up. Yeah, yeah. And then was like... I don't know how to get over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh man, this one's even more obscure with some of its crazy yeah. shit. Like the northeastern yes, portion yeah. and like a couple of other bits, there's some really wacky shit that you've got to do to get to places that isn't intuitive, partly because yeah. of like their vertical thing, but partly because yeah. from a like, let's make this stupid. Yeah. yeah. Like there's there's a, some secrets. <laughs> without spoiling anything, there's like a gesture you have to do in a certain yes. place and all that sort of thing. That's that I had to look up because I was like, how the fuck do I get over there? The pe- you you play it without the notes around, right? I, do you yes. play it in offline mode? I'm, so a, I'm in offline mode, That's yes. the benefit of that is in amongst all the like, you know, butthole yep. and all of that, yep. you get ones that's like try gesturing and it shows you the gesture. In yeah. Front. So that, that leads you through a lot of that stuff, which I enjoy. Yep. But yeah, so gobbled the thing. Um, the fuck final yeah. boss is... Fucked up. Yeah, it's, I'm hearing this a lot. It's yeah. this is really Beautiful. even for people that love getting their ass handed to them. <laughs> yeah, the, I think it's really it's right on the border of what's what's fair. The yeah. last little portion of that game has a little ring of running out of time mm. to me. There's right. the second last main boss mm-hmm. is a really significant character in like the lore of the world terms, mm-hmm. which you don't really know unless you look at their like remembrance thing. Okay. Um, and which boss the, the, so mm, I don't know. What's, to... what's their name? Is oh. it a, it's not a spoiler to say their name, is it? Uh, it might be, I forget, but the, the, the <laughs> name as well. That's the main part. Oh, okay. Uh, but they're in like, um, describe them. Well, I, that, that, I feel like that's a spoiler too. Okay. They're right before you go and light the thing on fire to burn down. Oh, okay. The, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Um, so, and they don't get like a cutscene intro in them mm. or whatever. And it's a bit weird mm-hmm. and a little easy for the point where you're up to, or yeah. like a little strange. And then the last boss seems like they haven't quite tuned it right. <sighs> yeah. Uh, it's tough as fuck. I like tried it a few times with, uh, with, uh, you, you know, you summoned yeah. online people as well. You mm-hmm. can, I had a couple of them a couple of times, couldn't get it done. And then finally, yeah, knuckled down and, 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 and did the bastard in, mm-hmm. But uh, then it just sort of goes like, all right. Yeah, and you're right. Sort of done. Um, right. But it was after, after getting through, yeah, it felt like a, a, a little tuned up, a little high. But yeah. It was, right. was doable eventually. Right. And super I guess that, cool. That is, too. I keep thinking like, yeah, but this is, the, this is the way I felt about it, every boss that I fought. <laughs> Like it's it, like you can't. It's impossible. It. And then uh, the next day, after yeah. your brain sort of been yeah. working on it in the background, you're like, oh, actually, no, I've remembered these patterns, and now I can do this. You've just really <laughs> got to be on it for that last one. There's yeah. several fucking things that will get you unless you react immediately and correctly. Yeah. yeah. Um, and like I feel because like, yeah, I think I've explored everywhere now. Yeah. Uh, I haven't fought every boss. I think there's maybe one other one apart from the final boss Mm -hmm. that I haven't actually gone and fucking done. The, there's a, there's a dragon boss in this one. There's certainly a big dragon boss in there's this one. There's a number of dragons around too. Like you, right. There's a few replicas of the same dragon yeah. that will be in the world. And then you like, yeah, in the mountain bit, there's a few dragons. And yeah. At the top, I loved the top of the mountain dragon boss. Yeah, real that cool. That was sick. Like some of the like, animations and stuff. Did you get the quest going with the bloke who kind of, as you go up the mountain, there's oh, maybe yeah. a guy involved and yeah. he's up the top there. Yeah. And uh, that was cool. And that was there's, sick. There's one like sort of big area that you wouldn't know is there that uh, I loved and reminded me of like Dark Souls 2, just mm-hmm. this huge thing of like, what the fuck? Is and one like kind of quest line involved boss who I don't think it's unreasonable to get to, who is uh, uh, the the cool sort of like off the beaten path hidden boss mm. that's really sick thing. I, I, I love the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, it's awkward because I don't want to talk about it in a spoilery way for mm. anybody. Yeah. 
but I want to go into these things, you know. Yeah. Maybe, it's, maybe we'll do that at some point. I don't know. It's fucking awesome. I love it. It's I, it's, game of it's, the year time, I suppose. We'll end up talking about it. Well, it's a day. It's DLC. It's DLC of the year. It, it's, it's probably going to be that. <laughs> I don't know what else. What's possibly coming out that could possibly topple it? I bought uh, some outfits for Persona 3 Reload. <laughs> <laughs> and they were pretty cool. The little caddy is uh, yeah. DLC of the year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Erdtree's fucking awesome. It's great. It's it's really cool. And um, yeah, now, now, well, I haven't finished it technically. I don't know if I will. Like this final boss is very, very hard. Yeah. Um, and I've seen everything else that there is to see. And I had, yeah, already heard like, yeah, you just beat him and then it's the end of, you know, it's like, okay, cool, you're done. Yeah. Yep. So maybe at some point. I don't it just depends how much of your own personal satisfaction is yeah. tethered to being able to give a little tick to yeah. that yeah. thing. Versus how much um, mental anguish fucking banging my head against the wall. I will say it's you know, one of those yeah. ones as well where even when I beat it, I was like, fuck that. Yeah. yeah. Like <laughs> really, it, it, but also kind of satisfied. But just mm. the game as a whole is... I'm so glad they went back to it yeah, and put yeah. this thing out and that it's of the quality level that it is at, despite maybe like a patch of it being a little clearly towards the end of development, towards the end. But like mm-hmm. really solid, different enough from Elden Ring main game yeah. that it was exciting and fresh again. And yeah, absolutely loved it. Couldn't recommend it enough to anybody who's still like liked Elden Ring. And if you're on the fence, mm. f- you know, if you're in that situation, don't doubt it. Yeah. 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 It's good. All right, well, that's going to do us for another week here at Filthy Casuals. It will. One, one, one last little thing, Ooh. I guess. Because a little what? bit of oh, sort yeah. of... One more thing. <laughs> <laughs> the, the news app. World premiere. Adam's World in Smash premiere. Brothers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, me and me and Kazooie. Banjo couldn't make it. Uh, very soon, in about two weeks mm. from hearing this, mm-hmm. firstly, to say... No changes to the podcast or anything. Okay, get that right up there mm. off the back, uh, off the front foot. That, that makes I'm me stop really playing video games forever. <laughs> no, uh, that makes me very curious to what the second bit could possibly be. <laughs> yeah, no changes to this. Just for anyone who who, who wonders, mm-hmm. same exact stuff from from the pod. Yep. But I'll be moving to the UK very soon mm. for an indefinite amount of time. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, a definite amount. I just don't know what it is, but we'll look back on it and know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hopefully, well, you'll be moving back to the UK. Back, yeah. I was born there, mm-hmm. um, and I've lived here though. <laughs> <laughs> do you think when you get to the airport, they'll be like, "Welcome back"? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, they do say on the on you know on flights like for any visitors, welcome to London, and for anyone anyone you know any any residents, welcome back. That oh. spiel always pisses me off. I love it, really, because yeah. I love what Melbourne, a- and I'm like. Thanks for welcoming me back. Why are you pissed off by a welcome? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's like, yeah, we all know what we're doing. <laughs> uh, There's your coffee, sir. Enjoy. In fucking joy. Yeah. How dare I'll you? I'll be the I judge know, of that. I know that's what it's for. Yeah, I know I'm going to enjoy it probably. That's why I bought it. <laughs> no, in a recipe when it says that, when the final step is like serve and enjoy, oh, like, yeah. I can take it from here. Yeah, yeah. No. That, well, I guess it's nice to know that when you're done, with a recipe, I like I might right. have just left it in the oven. Throw it in the for bin. longer. Like yeah. it says to leave it in forty, but it doesn't say what to do after that. That's 40 true. More. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, so I'll be doing that. We'll be doing the the the, the things as normal. Like I say, yeah. Uh, well, you would be flying back every week. <laughs> that's the plan at this <laughs> yeah. point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Patreon.com yeah. slash Filthy Casuals Pod, please. <laughs> so you really might be a bit plane tickets are not as cheap as I thought they were. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you might be a bit permanently jet lagged on the episodes. Well, I still yeah. might because I'll be doing them at like midnight my time. I guess. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. It, Th- that's also fine and I'll be up but uh oh you'll be up I'm looking forward to it I'm going to be doing comedy stuff over there so yeah. if you're around come see things when I post about them you do in Edinburgh for any of our listeners doing Edinburgh that first. up mm. in Edinburgh which we always have a lot of people uh in the discord and on our socials yeah so in, uh, that they're up there during Edinburgh Fringe uh we'll be running Three's Comedy mm. which is uh five shows a day different different times with different lineups uh, and I'm on four of those. <laughs> so nice. if you want to come and see one of those, I'll probably be on it. Don't, like, mm. And then late, late nights, I'll probably be going to sleep by. But there's good people on all of them. Oh, yeah. Uh, have a look at that. Three's comedy. They're all called in there on every single day. Go and give uh, Knox some tips on what to, where he can go to eat in London. Yep. yep. Uh, <laughs> where he can, um, I don't know, McDonald's. do other stuff. Uh, <laughs> Someone buying a train ticket up to Edinburgh just to do that. Not going to go to the shows. Just going to yeah. hope to run into Knox on the street. And tell him a good restaurant in London. I'm at yeah. Costa. Yeah. All right. You can get 20 pounds a month. You get uh, unlimited coffees. Which is 
possibly oh, yeah. a good deal. I mean, I didn't like the Costa coffees that I had. Uh, there's not many of them. There's another place. I forget what it's called. It's like... pret a the- no, that's that's I know about Pret a Manger. Yeah, yeah, Pret a Manger. Yeah. Pret a Manger. Um, there's like a there's one that does like a flat white. It's like a green coloured, like not Starbucks, like okay. a mint green, <laughs> green coloured. It's like the <laughs> mermaid lady, yeah. I think. Yeah. And it's not Starbucks, but it, it is a chain. And I was like, oh, this is the closest to like Melbourne coffee. But okay. like, yeah, right. I'm sure to... people will have, and many expats over there as well. I'm sure will be able to. You know, yeah. say hello to Knox and I'll welcome yeah, him. him Welc- like a like a flight attendant should. <laughs> no, don't welcome you. <laughs> Piss me off. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited to go, and uh, it's very good that we get to do this as normal with no yeah. interruptions yeah. and like the same exact stuff. Uh, so j- yeah, I just want to make that clear. That's not, nothing's changing with this. But uh, yeah, Knox will be bloody calling in from uh, from yeah. from the United Kingdom. Mm. It'll be very funny if like three episodes time, like oh, oh hey, Gary, yeah, <laughs> you've been in Scotland, haven't you? How did <laughs> yeah. this happen? Yeah. It does happen. It does. Yeah. Yeah. And, and because I'm from there, and my parents still talk with English accents. Yes. Mm. Different types, but like I, I wonder if it's I will. dormant. It's laying You'll regress. dormant in you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> I think progress actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like Shadu Tree all the time. Yes. I'll go back to old English. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm very excited to do it, and I just wanted to say as well that like because all of you listen to this. And some of you are on patreon.com slash filthy casuals pod. That's the reason I'm able to mm. like survive while doing this. So uh, I wanted to take a second to say that I'm very thankful for that mm-hmm. and grateful for it. And that, um, y- you know, th- doing this shit means heaps to me. I am so glad that I get to keep doing it from there. Yeah. yeah. I'm excited to be able to talk to you guys every week still. Yeah. And, you know, there have been multiple times in the last few years where this show has been such a constant for me in a positive way yeah because of you guys and because of people who listen so uh i'm really glad that even doing something like this it gets to keep being that it means a ton it is funny if it wasn't for the pandemic do you think we (laughs) do and this goes for like every podcast like we ever would have worked out that like oh you can just do this wherever Mm. (laughs) like i think a lot about how i i went to hawaii for christmas with my parents in 2019 and our flight over there got cancelled mm. and then the makeup flight we had had to turn around and come back halfway through. You got to do your makeup on the flight? Yeah. <laughs> Is this like Mr Bean driving away? <laughs> <laughs> and so I only ended up being there for three days and my parents were like, why don't you just like extend and stay here a bit longer? And I was like, no, I got to come back and do pod. I had to do some mm. podcast stuff that like had to happen on a certain day. Mm. And like... That's just so insane to me now. <laughs> like that, I like now. I just anywhere I go, I just like chuck all the stuff in. I'm like, yeah. oh, if I get stuck, I can just do it so easily. Yeah. But that there was a time where it's like, no, I simply must get back to record this podcast. Yeah. Yeah. There's no way of doing it otherwise. <laughs> We've done so much of it with us in different places. Yeah. That, like we know it is the same. Yeah. Which is very good. And like you know, the regional manager forced us to get back into the office during this studio. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we might not have said that on the podcast. We have a regional manager, <laughs> um, but yeah, like I'm excited to 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 talk about power Keep games. Keep talking games. Yeah. Uh, oh, also, like uh, I'm turning on my Instagram again soon, which is Noxtagram. You can follow me there. If you Fuck yeah! There you go. Uh, He's back, baby. Some, some point. pictures of fucking um, <laughs> yeah, bangers well, of mash uh, and right. <laughs> fucking um, you know the Trafalgar Square sarcophagus. <laughs> That's English now. We ain't yeah. giving it back. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. coming home. <laughs> That's I'm about Nox. coming home. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. one thing that will be. <laughs> yeah. You'll be um, living under the Keir Starmer government. Is that what his name is? That's yeah. His name, yeah. Sir Keir Starmer. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah. So that'll yeah. be very exciting. I, I yeah, didn't even consider the, all of the British, uh, you know, correspondent reporting that we're going to get oh, from yeah. Knox. It's oh, going to yeah. be very interesting. Yeah, this game costs sixty pounds. What mm. the fuck does that mean? That's a weight. We don't even <laughs> yeah. get a sixty hertz mode. They're always <laughs> fucking going on about that. Mario's on running rates. weirdly slow. <laughs> Mario, please. Mar- that'll Sorry, be Mario. it. Yeah. You'll be over there when they announce the new Switch Dude. and the new Mario. When yes. I switch over to saying Mario, Yoshi. unironically, mm-hmm. yeah. That's that's, when, that's going to be an exciting that's day. That's when it's time yeah. for us to get over there and uh, bring you back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, looking forward to doing it from over there. And just, yeah, again, nothing's changing. And all that new stuff on the Patreon is the same. And yeah, blah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. There's more things we want to do too. So patreon.com slash filthy casuals pod is where you can go because uh, please, please do. Yeah. Because I'll tell you what's fucking expensive. Everything, everything in the UK? Everything London. everywhere. <laughs> Especially yeah. is holy moly. Yeah, but, uh, it's fucked. So thank you everyone who listens to this. It's, We've, it's um, a ton. It's, yeah. 
we've got our first um, like uh, premium episode coming up soon. Yeah, yeah, that's, that'll that's be about been from recorded. Speaking that's of that's on the yeah. uh, th- that's on the uh, three quid tier, four quid. <laughs> I, I don't know how much. Yeah, what is it anyway? Quid. It's uh, uh, get on there. Four fifty quid. Don't know. Mm. Something like that. Yeah. Get on there. Uh, we've got the yeah. We do a bonus extra show every week. Yeah, uh, and then if you're on the ten dollar tier, you also get uh, another. Extra monthly show on top of all of that. Yeah, uh, we've just started doing ad-free episodes mm-hmm. on there. If mm-hmm. that is appealing to you, if you hate being advertised to, yeah, either buy us or buy some automated <laughs> shit yeah. that gets put in. But um, then you're also probably not responding well to this little message here. <laughs> Good point. Uh, but if you want to respond directly to us, uh, the five dollar tier now has a monthly mailbag episode. Mm-hmm. We uh, we've got so many fucking questions for the okay. first one. Great. Yeah, yeah. We've got. Uh, uh, over 40, I okay. believe, um, which I uh, I guess, hey, ask a question every month if you want. Just make them different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, like We did get, I saw someone say, like, what is your favorite game? Which we've joked about as being like, <laughs> we've said that so many times. Well, and there's a lot of stuff podcast. <laughs> where, like, because it's the first month we're doing it. But as we go, like, yeah. months on, we're, like, you, the plan is also to sort of recap the month a little bit. Yes. Talk about stuff, expand on some things. Yes. So if you have questions about stuff from that month or whatever, those are great too. It yes. gives us an opportunity of, like, we've reviewed the game the week it comes out, maybe played, like, a few hours of it. We mm. can, like, check back in maybe, like, a few weeks yeah. later with exactly. some of your correspondence in and maybe we've, like, hey. played a lot more or finished the game by then and got different thoughts on it. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll nut that stuff out more over there. So well, if we'll you want to be right. a part of all of it, <laughs> patreon.com slash filthy casuals pod. And, yeah, again, because I'm in the mood. Thank you so yeah. much to everyone who listens and is over there on Patreon as well. Yeah. Uh, everyone involved in this. It's just uh, great to be able to. Do and now it. you know if you know if you are thinking of tightening your belt and cancelling your subscription, or if you don't subscribe and mm. uh, going to continue not to, just now know that you are crushing Knox's dream <laughs> yeah. by yeah. doing either of those things. <laughs> so right. He's well done, Tower Bridge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to. I should say for the mailbag as well, it, not just questions. Like I think touching on that thing of revisiting stuff. If we didn't put out the call for a review for a game, chuck in a fucking review of a video game if you want. It's a mailbag. You can send in yeah, whatever yeah. you want. Any, yeah. any thoughts? Uh, but yeah, all this stuff as well. Like we, we want everyone's feedback and we want to know yes. we're making stuff that you guys want. So, you know, keep uh, keep letting us know. Keep on trucking. Uh, yeah. yeah. Keep on keeping yeah, on. Dude. Keep all calm right. and carry on. That's what mm. I'm going to be saying all the time. Oh, no. Yeah. That's that, gonna I'm going to be... be walking into every video shop and they'll be like, what do you want? <laughs> but they'll say it too nervously. So I'll say, keep calm. And uh, carry on. Mm. All right. Well, thanks for listening, everyone. Good we'll thing I'm moving country to do comedy. <laughs> <huh>? <laughs> we'll see you next time. And as we say here at the end of every episode of Filthy Casuals, uh, 2K12, uh, NBA 2K12 remake. Yep. I bet it is. Yep. Mm, yeah. Uh, nice. Yeah. There yeah. we go. Okay. Hell yeah. <laughs>